Well, yeehaw and howdy, everybody. I'm Danny Riggs, and assisting me on camera two is my lovely wife, Jules. Welcome back to another episode of ResTube, and today we have yet another unboxing to do. And this is something that I have been looking forward to for a long, long time. The Healer and the Archer released on Astre in 2020. But before I finally get to open this, let's find out just a little bit of info about the project itself. The Healer and the Archer was initially published in 2019 by Solo Press in the United Kingdom in the anthology I Transgress, an anthology of transgressive fiction, edited by Chris Kelso. This book features works of 22 authors, including the legendary James Joyce, and makes for a very interesting read. The LP was released by Dutch label Astre Doa, which translates to Stars of Gold, or Golden Stars, on February 17, 2020. The label was founded in 2017 by artist and musician Raymond Dijkstra, and as he wrote on its homepage, Astre Doa is an artist-led platform and online gallery for the promotion of artist records, erected in October 2017 avant-garde music and visual art combined as a Gesamtkunstwerk. Gesamtkunstwerk is German and means total work of art or synthesis of the arts. In other words, it's a work of art that makes use of many different forms of art, and that is most definitely the case here. The Healer and the Archer is a spoken word piece set to background music. The LP is single-sided and comes with two original paintings made by Lee Barbier, the wife of Homer Flynn of the Cryptic Corporation and an artist whose work for Ralph Records dates back to Snakefinger's 1983 album Against the Grain. Her first artwork for The Residents were the character head sculptures for 1994's Gingerbread Man and her most recent work for them was making props for God and Three Persons in 2020 along with this project. So, let's get to unboxing. Okay, so let's get into this bad boy. There were only 25 of these, 13 sold by the label and 12 that went to the band. And so I was very, very lucky that I actually found one that I could buy. And also that my wife eventually did let me buy one. Okay, so let's get in here. Safety first. Bang! And here it is. The Healer and the Archer. Okay, and I can see already that this is number 23 meaning that it's got to be somewhere near the end of the story. I don't want to tell you guys the story all too much, um, or at all actually. The track itself is about 15 minutes long and it's still downloadable from Astra Door um, from their Bandcamp site. And it's very, very much worth it and I really suggest that you do that just to be able to listen to it. Okay, so that would be the first painting of two. This is a collage made by Lee Barbier, and it is made with acrylic paint and with stamps that you can see and with stickers. This heart is actually also glued and this picture is also very much the same for all different 25 of the edition. Simple black back there. Oh. 
I hope that doesn't mean something broke. Just found this here, which says healer and. I hope that doesn't mean that something got damaged. That would be a real shame. But apparently it did. Okay, so this is an arrow, actually, that says healer and archer. And I haven't seen any pictures of this at all yet, so... You know, actually just looking at the two parts of this arrow, I would say that it is supposed to be broken. If not, it would be a huge coincidence because the way that healer and is written on this one, just perfectly fitting, and the way that archer is written on this piece, if it was meant to be one piece, it would be a huge coincidence for it to have broken so nicely. Now that the bag is empty, before we look at the record and a second painting, we can just take a look at the bag itself. It says bang. Six arrows on it. And another six arrow stickers on the back. Before we get to the record, let's take a look at the other painting. And there it is. That is the character of the archer. He is the older of the two main characters of the piece. And like that plastic bag already said, this is number 23 of 25. And it's dated 2019. Not released until 2020, but apparently these paintings were made in 2019. Makes sense. And here we have the record itself in a simple black sleeve with a very, very dark black stamp there from the label. That says Astre d'Or. And as you can probably already see here in the middle, we have some writing. Because... This side is signed, the residence. And it would be this side that has the grooves of the story. Very, very nice looking. Just this in general makes the nerd heart race. And so we'll have to find a good way to store this and might have to find some nice frames for those two paintings and have to talk the wife into finding a spot to put them. Wish me luck on that. Back into the sleeve it goes. Well guys, thanks a lot for tuning in to this episode of ResTube. If you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe. You can share this on Facebook. It really helps out. So thanks a lot for all that and for your positive reactions and comments. You can find me on Facebook, on Twitter, on Instagram. And so until we see each other again on the next episode of ResTube. You guys stay healthy. Stay weird. Bye-bye. gonna clean yourself you're gonna be licking yourself on the internet that's that's just great very very ladylike of you you're gonna to have to turn that you're right there are only 20 of there are only 20 of, 20 of which were sold by the label your lily in a black sleeve <laughs>